So in this video, we're going to discuss the Monroe Kelly Doctrine. And the Monroe Kelly Doctrine is taught to all medical students um, because uh, of the significance it's ha it has in clinical practice. And basically what it states is that there are three things within the fixed dimensions of the skull. The first one being blood, both arterial and venous blood. The second thing being brain obviously. And the third thing being cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. Now, what the Monroe Kelly Doctrine states is that if you have a pathological increase in any one of these three things, uh, you're going to get an increase in intracranial pressure. So, what's the big deal? Why is increased intracranial pressure bad? Well, if the ICP or intracranial pressure becomes too large, then you get a uh, herniation of the brain tissue. And uh, this can occur uh, through the base of the skull uh, at a hole known as the foramen magnum. And when the brain herniates down through the foramen magnum, it really pisses off a vital structure known as the brain stem. And uh, when the brain stem is damaged as a result of that herniation, uh, it can lead to coma and if severe enough, uh, brain death. So, ultimately, the Monroe Kelly Doctrine is a very simple uh, but profound doctrine, uh, and its importance uh, is, is never understated in uh, managing intracranial pathology, which is why it's taught to uh, uh, all medical students uh, uh, in the world.